everyone, welcome to the segment 3 video for module 1, Voltage Measurement Using an Oscilloscope. Here, I will explain the experiment aims, experiment apparatus, basic theory, data and processing to be carried out as well as the format for making practical reports. The goals of this experiment are 1. Able to use an oscilloscope to measure voltage function, frequencies, magnitudes, and phase difference. 2. Understand AC and DC voltages and current measurement using the right tools. 3. Able to analyze electrical signal using provided mathematical operational function. And 4. Understand wave characteristic and superposition principles. And this is the experiment tools that we use in this experiment. The basic theory of this module starting with oscilloscope. An oscilloscope is a tool to examine voltage signal that may be constant or dynamic. There are two types of oscilloscope, analog oscilloscope and digital oscilloscope. Analog oscilloscope use cathode ray tube or CRT that works under analog electronic principle. Digital oscilloscope works using digital principles. In a digital oscilloscope, a CRT is no longer used as a display. An LCD monitor is used instead. Analog signal is amplified with preamplifier. The signal frequency is determined by sampling frequency that is directly correlated with sampling time. These are some important parts in an oscilloscope. Next is the Saju pattern. The Lissajou pattern is a display mode on the oscilloscope screen that can be used to find phase difference, frequency, and magnitude comparison of two waves. Phase difference of two signals from a Lissajou pattern can be determined using a method as follows. Next, we go to the data and processing. For experiment 1, which is measurement direct current voltage from experiment, you will get data of VRMS from multimeter and oscilloscope. Next, experiment 2 is measure alternating current or AC voltage. From this experiment, part 1, for amplitude variation with the same frequency 1 kHz, you will get the data of VRMS from multimeter, and from oscilloscope, you will get the data VRMS, VBBB, and VMAX. The part 2 of experiment 2 for frequency variation with same amplitude to VPP. You will get the data of VRMS from multimeter and from oscilloscope you will get the data of VRMS, VPP, and VMAX. For the third experiment, make Lissajou pattern. You have to draw a Lissajou pattern that is formed on the oscilloscope. Then, Calculate phase difference by entering the values of B and A contained in the oscilloscope into the following equation. In the last experiment, mathematical operation and superposition wave simulation, you have to draw the pattern from form on the oscilloscope. And the last is to explain the general rules format for the basic physics report. First, there is the header of the module report, including the module number, title, part time of a practicum, and also your identity and the assistant identity followed by lab condition into the data given. And next, explain experimental aim, experimental apparatus, brief theory that should be no more than half page, but must consist the very basic theory and main equation. And then the data and processing. Next, analysis and discussion, which question will be given in the practicum. And you have to answer it into each point as a paragraph. And the last, the conclusion must be answering the experimental aim and must be written in, in point for each of your experimental aim. Well, that's the video for segment 3 of this module. Thank you and have a nice day.